Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Baltimore Ravens. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, they love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the inner harbor of Baltimore. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Chicago Bears and the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead. And we're off in week two. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to. And I think he really said it a few months ago where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 29. To throw again, Lawrence. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards into Chicago first down. On first and ten, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. But look now at the lineup defensively for the Ravens. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the pass. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Lawrence. Open man is Trey Burton. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. And yet again, he's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Two 
They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Second down and inches to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Tariq Cohen, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back on, here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. As we get a look at a guy who grew up in Florida, played his college ball, of course, in Louisville. It's the electric Lamar Jackson. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run it here. This is James White, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss. And that's going to lead to a third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. And tatter, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. That's it, baby. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll set them back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Justin Tucker for the extra point.
It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Off the play fake, Lawrence. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. It'll be a three yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Back to throw, Lawrence. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. But well, one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Second and nine now from the 21. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it'll bring up third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Wide open receiver complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They go with White on the counter. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to have a third down. <laughs> On third down, Jackson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 36. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 36. Here's Jackson to throw, and this one complete to Smith. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Second and goal from the six this time. 
Now Jackson. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. So that one a long 11 play drive and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown this one fielded at the 5 and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On the draw, this is Cohen. And he's gonna be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. To throw on second down, Lawrence. He's got Burton here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. They'll wind up with seven on the dump off, but it'll set up third down. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And that will be incomplete. This is Josh Lambeau. He hit from 57 a year ago. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just it's short. Open. No good, and this score will stay right where it is. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Jackson now off the bootleg. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. 
After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. They'll run on first down. Gill, they get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. On second down and four. Jackson, he's got his man, it's Andrews. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. On second down now, it's White. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles. We're only in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. Might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have... And he'll get in! Touchdown, Baltimore! James White, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as the Ravens push further out in front. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Second and 13. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Man open, it's Moss complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence, throw left side, complete to Moss. Ready? 
So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and forever. Back to throw. Lawrence. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. It's a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Here's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. On oh, the return is Cohen. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter, and they're losing. you got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion, anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down, Lawrence. He'll take a shot for the end zone, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. On third down, Lawrence. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. On first down, Cohen. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second and four. Let's talk about football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Then he'll give it here to his running back. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early? and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game. That's a lot to carry around. This is taken at the three. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Lamar Jackson heading back out as we check out our player's spotlight. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, it's caught. Smith. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On third and one, Jackson. And a dump off to White. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe, and that will get the lead up to 14. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, we've seen a strong first half out of Lamar Jackson. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. 
Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They defer to White out of the shotgun. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. To throw on third down, Jackson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most half? Of the, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. He's going to air one out, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. On second down, it's Cohen. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Chicago. In for the score, as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 24-17. A drive that time of six plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was pump the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah, Mike, 58, right there. To throw is Jackson on third down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So a change of possession here on the punt. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A left flat. A left flat. Go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. On second and two, Jackson, wide open receiver complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Throwing is Jackson. Goes underneath here to White. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third down, a run from White, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack, because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll run on first down. Gill trying to run inside, but nothing there. Yeah, baby. In on the stop, yeah. the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got Smith here. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the gun, Jackson rolling to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's what I'm talking about. Sex all day, baby. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it go. off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw again, Lawrence. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. 
The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now this window is running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Chicago! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Lambo to add on the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start to drive with White, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Orlando Brown guilty of the infraction there. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now it's Jackson rolling to his right. And now he's going to use Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. Following the fumble recovery, Lawrence. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the Let's three. Go, the pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. On the double. Mike 50. I got, I got. Switch. Switch. Deep rip. Deep rip. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. And at this stage in the game, sure, you wanted the touchdown. You're already in the red zone, but, boy, you squandered a chance to at least get the field goal there. So no points out of this, and we stay tied. Very disappointed team. No one more disappointed than the kicker who thought he had a chance to be the hero of the day. They, all they had to do was trot him out on the field. They didn't even give him an opportunity. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the you first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. It doesn't always work out, though. And a solid run down inside the 30. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Jackson operating from the gun, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. 
Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, -term memory. and move on to the next series. On first down, Lawrence. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Lawrence. His throw incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Back to throw. Lawrence. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. First down, here's White. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson, complete. Smith has it. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Back. To throw on second down. Lawrence, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They stay on the ground with White. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. On second down now, it's White. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. Let's go, let's go! The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Looking to throw. Lawrence and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. It's a gain of 34. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going on the ground, it's White. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Bears gonna call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They keep it on the ground, White again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Bears gonna use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Two times, two times. Hey, hey, we got four. On first down, it's White. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now a carry for White. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the nine yard line. On third down, White. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And the 13-year man puts it through, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Ravens, they make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they will fall to one and one. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.